ShireSociety.com. So today we're we're picking up litter in the park on the west side of Manchester. I think uh, the west side has a reputation for being pretty trashy. But yeah, we did a litter pickup here a couple of months ago, and we're doing it again. This is part of Shire Sharing, ShireSharing.org. Shire is in New Hampshire, and um, that's our little uh, non-legal uh, non-profit. We're not uh, le legitimate in the eyes of the state, but you know we we throw our money together, sort of cooperative for little projects that we all like. Like uh, a couple of months ago, we raised some money so that Chris Lopez could uh, get a new wheelchair because she had the, the loaner basically from the rehab after the accident, and that's all that she was using. And this one's a lot better. And um, in uh, December and in January, we did two separate trips. Um, over the course of the two trips, we handed out over 50 backpacks to Manchester homeless. The backpacks had in them blankets, toothbrush, razor, um, a bus pass was the big deal. And we actually I had to go through the mayor's office to get a discount from the transit system. I really wanted them for free, but they gave them to us like a 60% discount, close enough. Yeah. And then of course, you know, in, in November we did the Thanksgiving baskets for the uh, needy people. And we've been having a lot of fun. And and it's, it's hard to come up with ideas that really satisfy us and um, don't, because the state is so invasive. There are a lot of opportunities out there where really we end up shoulder to shoulder with the state. And yeah, we that's, so, help. that's something I was thinking earlier, and I think that's an ethical dilemma that I've kind of thought about over the years. Is that yes, you can go and help the homeless. There's plenty of them. They need help. They're really not bad folks. But on the other hand, you're sort of like it's sort of like you're you're rewarding failure, or you're 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 going to create more homelessness if you fund homelessness, right? So. My thought was, I don't know, the kind of charity that I get drawn toward is more helping people who, and I don't even know if I would call it charity, but helping people maybe who are On already their way up. doing, are, yeah. they're already doing something, or they're, or they're running a, a struggling business, or they're, um, oh yeah, absolutely, you know, or they're or they're doing some kind of liberty activism, something like that. It seems like a better use of money, but well, yeah, it's, not you, as, it's not as popular. Do you know about the thing with uh, Chris? Because she's now um, paralyzed. It's hard for her to find work. She was a waitress before, and now, you know, uh, that requires walking. Um, In theory. And, yeah. They think well, it does. They say it does. Yeah, she's got to laugh yeah. to keep the tray on. I yeah. don't know. She might be a faster waitress mm -hmm. than others. I'm but so, yeah. anyway, uh, so uh, Carla and, and Chris Lawless put together a, a like a pledge bank thing, um, and it actually was successful. And it's like $10 a month goes to pay Chris Lopez, to handle all of the admin. For you know the if they take bitcoins. Project. The Free State project. No, does that that pro that particular project for Chris take bitcoins? I don't know. She's over okay. there. You can ask. Her. She doesn't. <laughs> so oh, I don't know. Last I checked. But the uh, um, uh, what was I going to say? The uh, uh, yeah, that's the perfect project that I haven't donated to yet. <laughs> and I should, and should. <laughs> yeah, it's great because it's only ten dollars, but they already got all the seventy people that they needed, and now Chris is going to be handling all the admin, which was troubling because it was on a volunteer basis before. Right. Um, volunteer it doesn't work. A little, you know, sketchy. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, but that's a great oh, thing. I, mean, I don't know, I don't know that it was that. failing before. I just see in general volunteering doesn't, volunteer help doesn't work very yeah, well sometimes normally. Some, well, yeah, exactly. That's why, I mean, in the past at Porkfest, the cleanup crew has been on a volunteer basis. Yeah. And now it's paid. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.